Hey everyone, today we're going to be exploring Midtown East. Today is October 4th, 2024. The time is 3.40 p.m. Eastern Time. We're currently walking down 3rd Avenue on the corner of East 50th Street. It's about to be rush hour. It's a Friday afternoon. Go ahead and get this walk started and explore Midtown East. It's going to be very quiet, more residential feel. Looks like there's a lot of new restaurants, shops. Also, the further east you go, the rent is a little bit more affordable. But you're also close proximity to all the major offices and buildings in Midtown, Park Avenue and the like. As we head further over to the east side, you'll see a nice mix of these pre-war buildings. The skyline kind of mellows out the further east you go. And maybe we'll even have enough time to go to the Sutton Place neighborhood in New York. It's quite nice. You have these tree-lined streets, quaint apartments, co-ops. We're headed towards Second Avenue now. We have a lot of small boutique shops. Again, these really nice fire escapes here. some outdoor dining setups, which the city is supposed to be taking down most of them, but I think they look quite nice. Just as long as they're well kept, I think businesses should be able to keep them up. Now the corner of 2nd Avenue and East 50th Street. You can see a new development going up on the corner. This is 300 East 50. Here you can see some more shops across the street. Pretty much all up and down second. You're going to have a lot of the bars, restaurants that service a lot of these residential buildings here. I mean, pizza stores, really everything. It's more of a community type feel.
East 51st Street. We're going to make one more right. And here you're going to be able to see some of the east side townhomes, which are really nice. You'll see a few that are for sale. I guess you could consider this the Turtle Bay neighborhood of Manhattan. Here you see some of the townhomes right across the street. Really nice. Now, a lot of those have been turned into single family homes, but there are some that are the traditional multi family. some more over here to the right. Look at how unique this one is. I'm not too sure if I like this facade. Maybe a little bit too modern. But I think they're trying to get the ivy to grow all the way up and down. I don't know, for me, for a townhome, I think it needs to be the original style like this one. This is probably the most beautiful townhouse on the block. I just think it looks better when you, you maintain the, the integrity of the facade as opposed to a more modern style architecture, in my view. We're now headed closer and closer towards the East River. Now this is First Avenue, the corner of East 51st Street. Now this is looking southbound towards the United Nations. So the UN is just two hours south. And this is a shot looking up towards the 59th Street Bridge.
Deacon Hill houses. This is Beekman Place. There's some really nice townhomes here. You can kind of tell all up and down the block. It's quite private, very quiet. take you down to the park where you should be able to cross over the river. Very similar to Sutton Place. We won't walk down here today, but this just gives you an idea of how you can get around and cross and go down to the park overlooking Queens and Roosevelt Island. We're going to make a right on 1st Avenue. But just notice how quiet it is. And again, this is about 4 p.m. in the afternoon on a Friday. So you can just see how quiet this neighborhood is at night. And there seems to be a lot of infrastructure to support the community. I mean, coffee shops, pizza stores. This is an interesting view here. You could see the spire of one Vanderbilt in the distance. You could also see a little bit of 270 Park, which is the new office tower for J.P. Morgan Chase. Again, this is looking down by the UN, the United Nations.
I really like looking at all the pre-war buildings because it just gives you an idea of what the old New York really used to look like. And it seems as if, as the years go on, more and more of those original stores, I should say buildings, you know, get acquired and sold and new buildings are built in their place. This is now the corner of East 53rd Street and 1st. And you have Madison Restaurant, which is like a little deli or excuse me, which is a little um, diner. And it's good to see, because a lot of the original diners in New York are unfortunately going out of business. Tal Bagels. This is actually a pretty good bagel shop. Right on the corner of East 54th Street and 1st. This place is usually packed during the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. This is a very, very good pizza spot. I'd say this is one of the better pizza shops on the east side. Now, 54th Street, if you head all the way down to you really can't go anymore to the east side, you'll run into Sutton Place, but you'll also run into the brand new uh, East River Greenway, which is really nice. It just opened. So East 54th Street, just continue to walk east and you'll run right into that greenway, which is an amazing spot to go running, jogging, biking, you know, walk the dogs, really anything you want. Got a lot of mom and pop shops, locksmith place. You have a cleaners, and it looks to be a very, very local, family-owned hamburger place. Jimbo's Hamburger Place, famous eggs and omelets. Looks cool in there, kind of looks like a 80s style diner. Having the smaller mom and pop shops, in the neighborhoods, give it a lot more character than just having everything be commoditized by, you know, big corporate America.
This is East 55th Street. One more block up, we're gonna make a right. And we're gonna head into the heart of Sutton Place. Catholic Center. Since we have the light, we'll cross here. This is crossing east on first. And then we'll make one more left and head uptown. From here, you can see the 59th Street Bridge in the distance. If I turn the camera facing west, you can see a perfect shot of 432 Park Avenue the Steinway Tower as well as Central Park Tower. Which is on New York City's Billionaire's Row, 57th Street. Now the corner of East 57th Street and 1st. Usually in about an hour, that's when a lot of the traffic picks up for the on-ramp of the 59th Street Bridge. People headed out to Long Island. You can see the Sutton Wine Shop. And if you look closely, you can see the Roosevelt Island Tramway. Trader Joe's in the bridge, which is quite unique. This is a nice culmination here on the corner of East 58th Street. There's really beautiful pre-war buildings. You have the apartments up top. And then in the retail, you have really nice restaurants. a Lebanese Middle Eastern restaurant. And 
they have a really nice outdoor dining setup. like look at the interior of this place very very nice interior right on the corner of East 58th espresso bars, laundry places. There seems to be a few vacant places. Oh, that's... But you can see across the street too, there's even more restaurants. Here we are at the 59th Street Bridge. You have the TJ Maxx and the Trader Joe's. Very unique. I'm sure it does well. I mean, pretty much everyone that lives in Sutton Place probably comes and shop here. So we're now gonna go all the way to the east side and explore Sutton Place. This is one of my favorite tucked away neighborhoods in Manhattan. And it's actually quite affordable now. It used to be very, very expensive here. But as of late, Sutton Place has kind of fallen off the radar. So if you're looking to buy something in Manhattan, you may be able to get a deal here in Sutton Place. It's a little bit far away from transportation, but if you're just looking for a nice place to stay, quiet, you know, close to restaurants, and you have a Trader Joe's right here, this could potentially be an interesting location for you. You'll also have incredible views overlooking the East River from Sutton Place Park.
The townhouses are really nice too. East 59th Street in Sutton Place. Look at that, very cool view of the 59th Street Bridge. This is 40 Sutton Place right here. Two nice townhomes. This is my favorite row of townhouses right here. Sutton Place in East 58th Street. Beautiful, beautiful pieces of property. About to enter Sutton Place Park with really, really nice view overlooking the East River. Could you imagine living in one of these townhomes and looking over, and that's your view over there? The sunrise is probably amazing. You can see the East River, and if I point the camera down, I'll actually go to the wide angle lens. This is the brand new East River uh, Greenway. So you have a walking path, biking path, jogging. You could walk your dogs here. It's really, really nice. I think the city did an amazing job. And you could enter right on 54th Street, right as you cross over First Avenue. From here, you could see Long Island City. All the way to Brooklyn, you could see the Brooklyn Tower. 
so downtown Brooklyn, and you could even take a look at the Williamsburg Bridge. And they have benches where you could sit and just, you know, read a book, enjoy the view. Right here from Sutton Place. You can see the juxtaposition from the new development mixed in with a lot of the pre-war. Now all of these townhomes that you see here, they've been fully restored. So there was major, major restoration. But they did a good job of just keeping the architecture intact with the original integrity of the neighborhood. I think they did a really good job. And many of these have their own dedicated parking. So you can see dedicated parking garages Similar through here, you actually have private gate entrance and access, which is really, really nice. On these beautiful tree-lined streets. Check out the door here, I mean, just the detail this is really wild. The detail on the door is incredible, incredible. It's almost as if you have the peace and quiet of living in a suburb while still be being on the island of Manhattan. Which is pretty incredible. More townhouses here. And notice how clean the sidewalks are. 
that's something you'll notice a major difference between our walks in Midtown Manhattan. Like the business districts, I should say from Fifth Avenue over to Eighth, all of the sidewalks are very, very dirty. Garbage everywhere, but since this is predominantly residential, I mean, the sidewalks are clean and clear. You usually don't see a lot of garbage piled up, like trash. So perhaps it's best just to live in Midtown, or excuse me, work in Midtown, and then live you know, further over east at a place like Sutton Place. Especially if you have kids or something. Very dog friendly neighborhood, too. Seems like almost everyone has a dog here. We're now headed towards Midtown Manhattan. Again, this is First Avenue. We're headed now over towards Park. We'll go back to 56th Street and then we'll head back in. This looks like another coffee shop, Marathon Coffee. Another pizza shop. Best pizza on first.
Okay, we're now back on 2nd Avenue. Here's another little, let's say, local bodega corner store. Almost like a racetrack for these bikers. the High School of Art and Design. And this is coming up on 3rd Avenue. If we were to make a left, I believe that will be the Lipstick Building. And that is where Bernie Madoff kind of ran his Ponzi scheme operation. Lots of city bikes I noticed. It's almost every single city bike dock is filled here. That building is 432 Park. Okay, if you all enjoyed that walking tour of Midtown East and Sutton Place, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more New York City walking tours. We will see you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.